This simulation demonstrates how network address translation port address translation works. This configuration demonstrates PAT as it is implemented in a typical small office home office network, but the process is essentially the same in large enterprise networks. Computer 1 wants to request a web page from Web Server 1. The request is formatted with the source and destination IP address in the IP header and the source and destination port numbers in the TCP header. Web servers use port 80 and is the destination port. The source port is basically a random number assigned to the open web browser window making the request. For simplicity, this simulation will shorten the packet to just the destination and source IP address and port. The packet is sent to the router for delivery out to the internet. Since the network is using private IP addresses for host assignment, the source address must be translated to a public address. The router performs the address translation using the address of its interface that's connected to the internet. The router maintains a NAT table that keeps a record of active translations. The source IP address and port number in the outgoing packet are replaced with a public address and port number. While the port number is usually the same in the original and translated address, it doesn't have to be. The packet is then sent out to the internet with its new source IP address and port and is delivered to the destination web server. The web server sends a reply. When the reply reaches the router, the translation is reversed and the packet is delivered to computer one. Each packet that is sent from computer one's web browser to web server one uses the same translation. Now, suppose Computer 2 requests a web page from Web Server 2. The same process occurs, except that Computer 2's packets are assigned a different source port number. Web Server 2 replies, and once again, the translation is reversed when the reply packet reaches the router. Each communication session between a private computer and an internet computer is translated in this manner. So a single computer might have several translations that the NAT router must keep track of. For example, each web browser window or tab requires a different port number and therefore has a unique translation assigned to it. After a while, if no packets between the source and destination computer are transmitted, the entry in the NAT table is deleted. 